Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and in the previous videos, we started with delete database operation. We hide or we make the payment mode, order date, total amount and currency column as invisible or we can say hidden whenever we are going for delete operation. Now we will proceed further for the delete operation. Now, firstly, we will go for validation part. Then we will delete the record from the database table. Now, what is delete operation? Delete is used to delete the existing record from the database table. Suppose if I'm giving a order number and I want to delete the record of that order number, it means that order number should be in the table. If that is not in the table, how I can delete that particular order number? So firstly, we will do the validation part that whatever the user is passing is a correct order number or not. If the order number is in the database table, yes, we can delete that order number. We can delete the record of that order number. If the order number is not in the table, we will give a message to the user that please pass a correct order number and then user can go for delete operation. Now you all know very, very well, whenever we want to go for validation part, we will always, always do the validation as a part of add selection screen event. Yes, whenever we want to validate the input, we will always, always take help of add selection screen event. Previously, we have written the validation for insert operation. Now we will do the validation for delete operation. Now, what is the radio button name for delete operation? P underscore R2 is equal to capital X. Whenever user is going for delete operation, the second radio button will be capital X. Now, we will simply, simply select the order number from database table. If the order number is in the database table, size sub RC will be zero. If size sub RC will be zero, it means user is passing the correct order number. Now, we all know very, very well. And when we, when I did the validation for insert at that time, I explained that we can return, we can write the query using select single also, because we are sure that we are getting a single order number. So I can write the query in this way also. So now I will write the query using select single. You can write in this way also. It's totally your wish. As we learned the new syntax of select single, so we will use that. So I'm writing select single. Select single. We want to select what single? Single order number. I will write from which table? Order header table. As we are selecting a single record, so I will simply, simply write, I will simply put into work area directly. We all know, yes, work area store single record. So I will simply, simply directly put into work area. Now we will give the where condition. This is the where condition. Your order number is coming from the parameter. Yes, your order number, which parameter has the input of order number? 
P underscore O N O. And we all know input is always on the right hand side. So whatever the input we will pass, it will go to O number column of this table and it will check. Yes, it will fetch order number from this particular table and order number will come into this work area. If this query is giving us the successful result, if this query is giving us the successful result, it means size of RC is zero. But yes, if this query is giving the successful result and size of RC is zero, it means user passed a correct order number. But if this query is not successful, size of RC will be other than zero. It is very important point in case of delete. We have to give the error message if the order number is not in the table. Yes, how I can delete a record which is not in the database table. So in case of delete, if this query is giving the size sub RC other than zero, then we need to give the error message because user is passing a order number which is not in the table Then we cannot go for delete. So I will simply write if size sub RC not equal to zero. That's why we are saying it's extremely important to understand the concept of database operation. If you remember, in case of insert, if size sub RC is zero, order number is in the table, you cannot insert the same order number. So that's why in case of insert, if size sub RC is zero, we gave the error message because we can only only insert the new order number. In case of delete, you can only delete the existing order number. So if size sub RC is other than zero, if the order number is not in the table, then we need to give the error message. Now we will give the error message. So I will just check in SC91 transaction code. This is the message class. Okay. Now we will simply give the message order number. This does not exist. I will say this. Now I will give the message message now we will give the message suppose i will go for error message 004 what is the message number 004 and in the bracket we will give the name of the message class if the order number is not existing we cannot delete that order number i'll check the syntax and i will activate now we will simply simply check this okay i'm running the program we will check up to this level i'll just activate the program i will run suppose i will put a breakpoint suppose i am giving a order number which is not in that table Suppose 15 order number is not in that table. If I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will see that table. Yes, order number 15 is not in that table. Well, I will pass the order number 15. We will choose the delete radio button. Yes, we are performing a action because we assign the function code function code yes so whenever any action triggered which event will call at selection screen at selection screen now second radio button is capital x yes now it is checking that 15 is in the database table or not whenever this query will execute 
you can see psi sub R C is other than zero. If psi sub R C is other than zero, we are simply, simply giving the message. So what is the message? Order number, okay. We'll pass the order number. You all know how to pass the values to the message number with P underscore O N O so that customer can clearly get the information. We'll check the syntax and I will activate. We will check the validation up to this level. Okay, now I will run without debugging mode. I will give 15. I will choose delete. Now you can see it is saying order number 15 does not exist. So we validated the order number using which particular event add selection screen event. Now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we are validating the order number. Yes, in case of delete, yes. If the order number is in the table, only in that case, we can delete the order number. So we simply put a query. Yes, what have we have written the query. If the order number is in the table, size sub RC will be zero. If the order number is not in the table, size sub RC will be other than zero. If size sub RC is other than zero, we gave a error message that your order number is not correct. You need to pass the correct order number if you want to delete. Now in the next video, we will write the logic to delete the order number from database table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.